वेलकम टू द टेस्ट पेप कार्ड चैनल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन योर लाइफ वी आर वंस अगेन बैक विद वन मोर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक वन मोर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉलेज विच इज गोइंग टू बी पी ई सी चंडीगढ़ और पंजाब इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज चंडीगढ़ इट इज़ गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक बिकॉज पी ई सी चंडीगढ़ हैज़ इट्स ओन स्टैंडर्ड्स वेदर इट इज़ द कट ऑफ वेदर इट इज़ द टाइप ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप इट हैज़ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप विच रियली विच रियली इंकरेज द स्टूडेंट्स टू स्कोर बेटर इन ईच ऑफ द सेमेस्टर्स ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो यूल प्राइमरी फोकसिंग ऑन द टॉपिक्स लाइक द बेसिक ओवर व्यू ऑफ द पी ई सी चंडीगढ़ द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया एंड द एन आर आई कोटा वट इज़ द रिक्वायर्ड एंट्रेंस एग्जाम टू गेट एडमिशन इन पी ई सी चंडीगढ़ वट इज़ द कट ऑफ फॉर द पी ई सी चंडीगढ़ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस वट आर द कोर्सेज ऑफर्ड बाई पी ई सी चंडीगढ़ and at last we will be seeing the scholarship provided by this college okay so uh, let us start with the basic overview of pc chandigarh so pc generally stands for punjab engineering college uh, it is generally a public engineering college in the union territory chandigarh in india and it generally focuses on the courses of technology and engineering okay it was generally founded in 1921 uh and its nirf ranking in 2020 is 68 which according to me is very good rank because there are about 4000 engineering college all over the uh, all over india okay so among those 4000 college if a college has a rank 68 so it is very decent college okay means the college under uh, nirf rank 100 they are considered to be decent okay talking about its connectivity so it is about 9 kilometers away from the uh, junction railway station of chandigarh and about 26 kilometer away from the chandigarh international airport so we can say that it is very well connected uh, from the railway station as well as the uh, airport because 26 kilometer is not a very big distance okay now let us move to the first topic which is the eligibility and the nri quota so as the entrance exam which is required for pc chandigarh is j main okay so the admissions are provided here uh, according to the ranks in j main so the eligibility is same as the eligibility for j main okay so the basic eligibility for j main is that you should have minimum 75% marks in pcm uh, not in pcm 75% in aggregate in class 12th but for the year 2021 it is excluded due to some uh pandemic situation but from the next year onwards the basic uh, eligibility will be that you must have scored 75% in aggregate in your class 12th or you must be in top 20 percentile in your respective state board so it is the basic eligibility there is no such age limit to attempt j main examination but after doing your class 12th you can attempt j main maximum 3 consecutive times means if you are attempting j main first in 2021 then you can attempt it consecutively in 2022 and 23 only you can't attempt it in 2024 so it is the basic uh, limit of attempts in uh, j main examination which is required for the admission in pc chandigarh and talking about the nri quota so there are 15% of seats reserved in pc chandigarh for nri pio or oci candidates in uh, in almost all of the streams okay means uh, there are about 700 seats in pc chandigarh so you can calculate that how much are reserved for the nri pio or oci candidates now let us move to the reservation in pc chandigarh means which reservation uh you can get in pc chandigarh so uh these are the separate seats which are reserved so for ews category means economically weaker section there are 10% of seat reserved for sc category there are 15% of seats reserved and for st category there are about 7.5% seats reserved there is no reservation for obc category as it was excluded uh, by the orders of high court from pc chandigarh and it was means it was generally ruled out and 50% seats are reserved 50% of the total seats are reserved for the students from chandigarh if their home uh, if their home is at chandigarh so the 50% of the total seats are reserved from them and uh, then from the, those 50% which is for home state and the those 50 percent which is for other state in that particular thing the other reservations are there and in each of the category 
फाइव परसेंट सीट आर रिजर्व फॉर फिजिकली हैंडीकेप पर्सन मीन्स द पर्सन हु आर हैविंग डिसेबिलिटी मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट मोर देन फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ डिसेबिलिटी दे आर हैविंग इन ईच ऑफ द कैटेगरी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ सीट्स आर रिजर्व फॉर दैम ओके सो दिस इज ऑल फॉर द रिजर्वेशन इन पी सी चंडीगढ़ नाउ लेट एस मूव द रिक्वायर्ड एग्जाम्स फॉर एडमिशन सो देर इज ओनली वन मोड ऑफ एडमिशन इन पी सी चंडीगढ़ देर इज नो अदर मोड एंड द वन एंड ओनली मोड इज जे मेन एग्जामिनेशन means you can only get admission in pec through j main there is no such other way to get admission there okay so you must attempt j main to get admission there okay now let us move to the courses offered by pec chandigarh means what are the btech courses because pec chandigarh generally focuses on the engineering stream or the technology courses so the uh, basic btech courses which are provided by pec chandigarh Uh, there are generally eight streams the first one is aerospace engineering which is the most famous there aerospace engineering is a very good stream there okay uh, the second is civil engineering then comes computer science engineering the fourth one is electrical engineering the fifth one is electronics and communication engineering which is also called ece the sixth one is the royal branch which is mechanical engineering uh the seventh one is metallurgical and material science engineering and the last one is production and industrial engineering so these are the eight btech courses which are provided by pec chandigarh okay now let us move to the very important topic which is the cutoffs for pec chandigarh okay so uh, talking about the cutoff we will all, only be talking about the general category other state cutoff because there are so much categories and it will be really time consuming so you can check the cutoff of your particular category at the official websites okay so for general category we will be discussing so as there are about 10 to 11 lakh aspirants sitting in jee main examination every year so uh, we will be basically seeing this data uh, according to previous year okay so for aerospace engineering Uh, you should have a rank uh, under 24900 in jee main examination according to the previous year data for civil engineering you should have a rank under 42200 for computer science engineering you should have a rank under 7800 if you convert it in percentile so it will be about 99.3 to 99.4 percentile talking about electrical engineering you should have a rank under 23400 for electronics and communication engineering you should have a rank under 16300 for mechanical engineering you should have a rank under 30200 means about 97 percentile plus for metallurgical engineering you should have a rank under 49400 and at last for production and industrial engineering you should have a rank under 46500 so this is about the general other state quota cut off in order to get admission in punjab engineering college chandigarh for okay. nri cut off so you should visit the link given in the description section uh, for the cut off of different different branches for nri candidates okay so you can find the link in description now before moving ahead in the video let me tell you about the nri ebook prepared by test prep card especially for the nri or pio candidates it is going to be really very helpful for you so the link for the same is also in the description section so i will recommend you that after watching the complete video visit the description and download the nri ebook okay now let us move to the application process for pec chandigarh now application process is not going to be very tough okay because the application process for pec it's same as the application process for jee main because jee main is the only way which will get you to pec chandigarh so the basic uh, process for application for jee main is the filling of application form generally the application form of jee of jee main are out in the month of september or sometime in october okay but uh, usually they are out in the month of september then uh, uh, what you have to fill in the application form you have to fill your personal details your communication details your uh, address uh, and the scanned photograph signature and your class 10th and 12th mark sheet along with some other details so these are the basic credentials which you have to fill in the application form after filling the application form you should attempt the jee main examination you should get a decent score there a decent rank there and after that you should apply for the uh, josa counseling okay because the josa counseling uh, is the counseling which is conducted for the top engineering college all over the country and if after josa counseling some of the seats are vacant in pec then you should apply yourself for csap counseling 
CSEP counseling is generally conducted after JOSA counseling for the seats which are vacant. Okay, so this is the general application process for NRA candidates. Also, application is almost same, but at the time of counseling, to prove that you are an NRA candidate, you should present some of the certificates like the passport, the um, certificate issued by Indian Embassy proving that your uh, sponsor is an overseas citizen of India and your class 10th 12th mark sheet along with some other certificates uh, which you can check in the official website because these three to four are the basic certificates and sometimes some additional certificates are also asked. So this is all about the application process. Now uh, the last topic of the video which is really going to be the most interesting topic under our this video which is the scholarship because the uh, PEC Chandigarh has a different uh, way to give the scholarship to students and it is really very constructive way i think okay according to me it is a very good way so the first scholarship base is that if a student if the all the students who are admitted in pec uh, the top two students means uh, those who have got the best rank in JE main or best percentile in JE main the top two student will be getting full fee waiver means their full tuition fee will not be taken means the they will get a discount on their tuition fee 100 percent discount means they have not to pay the tuition fee for first year but after for second year if they maintain their cgpa above nine then their full fee will be uh, will not be asked means they have not to pay their full fee but if their score is less than 9 their cgpa is less than 9 but uh, greater than 8.5 then half of the fee will be cut down okay uh, and if the top two j main candidates uh, according to rank will be boys then one additional scholarship will be given to a girl uh, and if girl is already there from uh, those top two then no additional scholarship will be given but if a girl is not in top two then an additional scholarship will give, be given to the girl candidate the other thing is that uh, after the uh, successfully completion of first year, if a candidate is getting above 9 CGPA, then also uh, he will be getting full fee waiver and if uh, a candidate is getting uh, greater than 8.5 but less than 9, then half of the fee will be uh, deducted. Okay. Uh, for SC and SC candidate, half of the tuition fee is deducted from the first year. Okay, and for the PWD candidates who uh, whose family income is less than five lakh, their full fee is deducted and full tuition fee. Okay, not hostel fee, only tuition fee. And for uh, the PWD candidates whose income is annual income, whose family annual income is greater than five lakh but less than ten lakh, then their half of the fee will be deducted. Now the scholarship on the basis of economy, uh, economic basis, the candidates who have BPL card, BPL card is generally uh, made in India, uh, means below poverty line, uh, there are some of the measures to calculate that you are a BPL candidate or not. If a candidate is a BPL candidate, then his full tuition fee will be deducted as well as his full hostel fee will also be deducted, means he he or she have not to pay any of the tuition fee or hostel fee okay and the other thing is that uh, the candidates who annual income is less than 5 lakh there also half of the tuition fee will be deducted but this scholarship will be given maximum to 2% of the candidates mean in a batch the top 2% of the candidate whose annual income is uh, the most less one means the, the annual income is the least one their uh, half of the uh, tuition fee will be deducted so it is very complicated means the scholarship given in PEC is little bit complicated but very constructive so you should visit the official website to get a detailed uh, knowledge about the scholarships because you can save a lot of money through this scholarship in PEC Chandigarh. So this is all for the video. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, do like, consider subscribing the channel. And if you have any of the doubt in the video, then freely comment down in the comment section. Uh, we'll try to answer you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.